Starbucks posted a top and bottom line miss. Comps uh, same store sales were lower than expected across the board as well. But those shares are popping right now in the after hours, up about 3%. Joining us is Joshua Long from Stevens. Uh, good to have you on. And I'm going to start right there. Why are shares moving higher? Because we missed with North America stats, we missed with international comparable store sales. Um, it does look like margins continue to expand. I mean, is that the driving force here or is it something else? Morgan, thanks so much for having me. That's right. At the end of the day, you look at the, the just the underlying strength of the brand. Uh, they did the results did miss expectations. Stocks up after hours. I think that kind of shows you one just the power of having positive traffic in today's environment. But then also perhaps just how beaten down some of the expectations uh, were. So even though they missed, they were better than feared. Okay. I guess walk me through what that means then in terms of the North America picture. Uh, they obviously, you know, grew with their, their loyalist um, uh, applications or, or signups as well. But then um, going to the international side of it as well, China up 10 percent, too. We know that's been obviously a key market of growth for them. Yeah, that's right. So, again, this really is a North America story here for the near term. That's really where revenues margins are, are made and really what moves the needle. So great to see that they have continued that strength with their core consumer. There's still a, a lot of consumers out there for them to go after as well. Coffee is a growing category, very habitual, a lot of exciting uh, opportunities for them to go after and tap into uh, the transaction aspect and the loyalty piece that they're so, uh, you know, so good at. When you think about the international piece, I think the key item here is China has been a little bit slower to start for the year, but that transaction data really underscores the power of the brand internationally. Uh, in China, some of the conversation that we'll hear today on the call is really around what the competitive env environment looks like and kind of how, how Starbucks is positioned to really fend off um, what is a, still a growing category there as well. But I think that underlying transaction growth really shows uh, the, str the strength and the starting point that they're, that they're at. Okay, so Joshua, among the things that Starbucks can control, what does it take for them to get and stay above 100 a share from here? Yeah, that's a great question. So I think a key piece of that is going to be uh, on the operational side, finding ways to unlock what is you know amazing throughput and amazing brand equity but maybe getting a little bit lost with all those lines at the drive-through. They've got some systems in place, both operationally and then tech-driven, to really forecast demand better, get the the basics right in terms of staffing, but then also uh, sales forecasting. So I think hearing more about that in no no small feat for sure. But I think over the next several quarters, th there's an opportunity there to uh, both unlock sales and further you know margin upside. And Joshua, what are they doing? Starbucks with this olive oil infused coffee drink that seems to be getting mixed reviews. What can we sort of believe or understand about management for the fact that they're moving ahead with it? Sure, certainly. So having tried it myself, I certainly can see some elements that, uh, you know, recall back to uh, where Starbucks was earlier on, where they were giving us some products that we didn't necessarily know that we wanted or needed. Uh, you know, jury's still out in terms of the, the ramp at in the pace at which everyone's going to get on board with Oleato. But uh, at the end of the day, this management team and the brand overall has a strong history in terms of product innovation and really trend setting. So uh, too early to say, but I think at the end of the day, it's a small piece of the puzzle right now with uh, longer term opportunities. Didn't sound like a glowing endorsement from somebody who just tried it. I'm still a latte guy at heart, so it's going to take a little while. <laughs>